coming down right now. Yeah. Let's do it. There's Tiff. All right, we gotta move really quickly. Chris, that's gonna hit us. We gotta go. All right, let's go, 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 go. Go, Kentucky, go. It's June 5th, 2025, and I, along with storm chaser Chris Risky, are arriving in southwestern Kansas, equipped with a one-of-a-kind tornado probe, designed to capture video from within a tornado. As we continue north, the sky grows extremely overcast. This is not a good look for tornado production, as it prevents sunlight from heating the ground and thus building the much-needed instability which fuels supercell thunderstorms. Thankfully, right as we reach our target area, there is just enough clearing to allow for small supercells to fire and strengthen. We make a move, racing towards the rotating storm. Um, I think the updraft base is right in front of us. I don't think it's that lowering to the left. Yeah, you can see something working in there. Yeah, now I'm starting to get like a full look at this thing. You can like see the fourth plane flapping around to the right of us, and then that whole thing to the left right there, that is the supercell, and you can see the infodon directly above us. I just want to look at what we're dealing with. They're looking good, man. It's wrapping like crazy. This was now a bona fide supercell, rotating quickly and getting closer to the ground. Chris and I continue to stay right next to the base of the storm, ready in a moment's notice to deploy the probe. You can see it, there's rapidly rising scud into an area right where a tornado should be. So it should be right in front of us. Yeah, I'm looking at our road options. Um, this highway kind of leads to the northeast end of the core, but there is a lot of gridded dirt options just south of the highway. I'm thinking about taking those. Another one, just send it. Look to our look to our left. I don't know. It might be wrapped in rain. I can't tell. Is, is it paved? I don't think so. There's a lot of dust coming off these cars. Alright, yeah, probably not. On the same storm is the Tiv 2, who are only a few miles east watching it approach. Tornado wire. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Let's get east. Yeah. And then, oh, look at the how thick the rain curtains are wrapping right there, Evan. Yeah. That that spot looks very interesting that right now. That might be Tornado Genesis. What the heck, dude? Oh my God, they're getting the best view of this thing in the world. Yeah. That's how you do it. Right, look at it. He's in the inflow, so he's just like all oh, barely moving. Yeah. We stop watching the storm wrap up even further and only moments away from dropping a tornado. We're just gonna keep going east, staying out in front, and um, you know, if we get a nice tornado, we're gonna intercept it with our probe. That is the plan. Uh, east then south. Uh, now let me tornado. Yeah, this thing might be doing it right now. Oh yeah, that's a tornado. A tornado quickly develops, moving southeast. We readjust and You're deploy the probe in its path. It's surge a little further south. So? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's moving south a little bit. It's definitely gonna miss this position. Are we safe to go south? <sighs> Just a tad bit. You'd have to, you'd have to move quick. You'd have to go now. We're gonna have to, like, go far. Like, this thing is we're getting close to, to deployment area. Probably a little further down this road. Should I deploy or what? Keep going. Just a little further. Just a little further. Alright, get ready to stop. Now. Alright, I'm gonna deploy. I'm deploying. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. There's Tim. 
All right, we gotta move really quickly. Chris, that's gonna hit us. We gotta go. All right, let's go, 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 go. Go, Jesse, go. Get speed, get speed here. RD wrapping around on us. Yeah, I see that. And there's people on the side of the road here. Intercept boat, apparently. All right, call real slow now. All right, we got it. This road will take us south and then east. It's beautiful. Left here. I think it should be paved still. Yep. Stop a storm. The tornado rips across the road, and the 360 camera reveals all the details from within the vortex. Smaller, compact vortices spinning around a main circulation. It's these vortices that are the strongest within tornadoes. They are also responsible for the strange markings left behind after tornadoes, usually seen in open fields, called cycloidals. These have interested meteorologists for years because they reveal clues about what's happening inside a tornado. By studying these patterns, scientists have learned more about the multi-vortex structure of a tornado and just how chaotic their inner motion can be. While we stop and pick up the probe, Tiv is now in the direct path of the rotating storm. Interesting, the wind is going the other direction now. Yeah, now it's, now it's starting to suck up to the uh, north, northwest there. Oh, we've got spinning right here. Deploy, 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 deploy. Deploy. Got the air. Oh, baby. Come on. Yeah, there might be a tour in here. The storm starts to weaken as it moves off to the east. Chris, Kelton, and I decide to regroup for a post-chase debrief. This was one of the most insane chase experiences I've ever had. But for Chris, the story doesn't end here. He would continue trying to get the probe into more tornadoes for an even better shot and that journey can be seen on his channel. As many of you know, this channel has always been rooted in gaming within the storm chasing niche. One of the biggest parts of those games is deploying virtual probes into tornadoes to earn points or cash. I've always been interested in experiencing something like this in real life, especially after watching Twister years ago, where the goal was to place a weather instrument directly in a tornado's path. I'll be honest, Doing this in reality is incredibly difficult. It takes intense focus and it comes with serious risk. We were fortunate that the tornado we intercepted was very weak. In fact, it didn't even take the power poles down along the side of the road. Even so, the footage we captured was amazing to look back on. And I'm incredibly grateful for Chris to have this opportunity. It's a day I won't ever forget. <laughs> 